Hi, my name is Onsa and welcome back to City Skylines. This is episode 2 of Blue Junction and in this video there will be general expansion. The city will get even larger and there will be some transit, suburbs and other stuff as well. In the previous episode the population of the city was around 500 now it is almost 5000 this is because I had some problems with the footage which was originally intended for this episode so yeah I basically had to make new plans for this episode which was kind of tough but oh there's a, if there's anything that city skylines has taught me it's when you don't have a plan just expand the suburbs so in this episode the suburbs are expanding there is some things that did cause some issues like for example low demand because yeah for a while people just wanted shops and industry which I get it but it was kind of annoying to have empty space near the city center which is supposedly the most valuable land but anyway now I'm laying down the pipes because yeah you need pipes and also I'm detailing tram stations because yeah I added a tram line off camera because yeah because I just wanted to if you may have noticed there is this weird crossover on the tracks that is because the connection with another avenue was messing up because it required to have a street light and I just turned it around the streets and it worked also it looks kind of like it's intent it was intended to be like just a dead end but it turned out into a loop but also it had to be used like a loop so yeah I'm not really good at making lore so anyway now there is now I'm building some shops because there was demand for shops and later in the video you will see how I am just scrolling through theme manager and removing extremely tall low density buildings because these didn't quite fit with the city not yet because the central business district and basically the downtown will be in a different place but Also, I'm still detailing the stations. But in the meantime, before we build it, I'll probably just build some suburbs. But anyway, now I am detailing again. I'm using these juniper trees, I think these are. Because they are kind of interesting to look at. And they don't take much space so they're an, they are an easy way to just add trees and greenery to an area now I'm designing a district that just goes in a place to just just have commercial because I didn't add a theme for like shops in the kid houses theme I made for myself I will probably make like a specific theme for shops 
I actually made one, I think. Yeah, I made one later. And, yeah. Now I'm again adding trees and I would just like to say that tr adding trees is basically my way of detailing everything and just hiding ugliness because yeah it's simple and it just works because trees they I think I heard that they decrease pollution or something and they also decrease noise pollution and even though I play with like most of like I play with pollution off I think and yeah so now I'm adding industry again or more specifically just zoning industry so when there is demand there is like at least some supply of industrial zones yeah, and you may have noticed that I added residential on a mistake because I am just dumb. Now I'm just waiting and looking around the city and changing things with move it. That's because, yeah, there were some height differences that were messed up. Yeah, and now is just removing of these buildings. Yeah, I don't like these tall, low density buildings. They look weird in like suburbs. I mean, why call it low density? Low density are like small shops and strip malls, not like massive general stores and department stores. That just doesn't make sense to me. So I just removed those annoying buildings and yeah, that was it. Yeah, I'm doing a lot of messing around with and just looking around the city in general in this episode just because I'm kind of bored and had no idea what to do. Yeah, also, the city got to busy town, which means we can build trolley buses, so I hope for like next episode we can build a small trolley bus network. It would be pretty neat to have like a suburban area with trolley buses. I mean, trolley buses are like the suburban way of tra the suburban transit in my city where I live. There is like trams are for the primary networks. Trolley buses are for the housing estates and suburbs, and buses are for everywhere else, or there is just mostly in the middle of nowhere. So now I am doing the strip mall building theme because I want some low density around the strip because that's kind of important. And yeah. I'm just putting those low density buildings so it doesn't like impact the skyline of the area because if the buildings were too tall there would probably be some NIMBYs being mad about it ruining the skyline and decreasing the land value I mean they already l live near a freaking strode that should decrease the land value enough but anyway there I also added more housing because there was just such high demand and for some reason the single elementary school and high school still are enough for this whole city I might add like an elementary school in the other areas later on but yeah, not now so now I'm adding <coughs> a bus line sorry and this bus line is basically just the suburban people mover which just moves people to and from a station and gets people to a tram stop so they can get to higher order transit I think it's called so I also 
also forgot to add tubes in that area and also there wasn't enough power so I added another like 10 substation substations I might actually have to build a power plant so, because just cheesing with with substation just isn't it I think so yeah now I'm adding a bus line for the suburbs and yeah these suburbs have a bus line because they have to have at least some way of getting around the city and here I'm struggling with the stations but yeah this is going to be probably it so like subscribe and I'll see you in the domain